Now into the Biden family business, moving along in the House, and now members, uh, they want to talk with the president's brother, James Biden. Will that happen? Team Fox coverage, Andy McCarthy's got the legal analysis, but let's start with the reporting. And David Spunt, live in Washington, with more on that. David, nice to see you. Good morning. Hey, Bill, good to be with you. James Biden is the president's younger brother. House Republicans believe that he's sitting on some important information. Unlike Hunter Biden, they say James is being cooperative, and they do expect him to talk eventually. We have a picture of James Biden. Again, he is the president's younger brother, looks a little bit like the president. He's remained close to the president over the years. He once worked at a D.C. consulting firm. Republicans believe he has plenty of knowledge of Hunter Biden's business dealings and how those dealings may be related to the president. House Oversight Chairman James Comer recently subpoenaed James Biden for a closed-door interview. So far, he's being cooperative. Here's Comer. We're communicating with his attorney. We expect to see him in uh, very soon. I'm, I'm going to hold off criticism of the president's brother. He's, he's we, obviously he has due process, and uh, we have heard from his attorney. We're trying to make that work, and I feel like that'll happen soon. And it turns out that James Biden was swept up in part of an FBI investigation into a Mississippi attorney named Richard Dickey Scruggs. James Biden once did business with him. According to The Washington Post over the weekend, the FBI secretly recorded conversations with the president's brother. Scruggs went to federal prison. James Biden was not the subject of the investigation, was never charged or accused of any wrongdoing. Nevertheless, he was involved peripherally in that probe. Meanwhile, his nephew Hunter is fighting not only a congressional investigation, but two court cases, one for federal firearms charges in Delaware and tax charges in California, where he's lived since 2018. He has yet to be arraigned and enter an initial appearance there. He ignored a subpoena to testify last week behind closed doors, and House Republicans want to move forward with contempt of Congress. It's likely James Biden will come in after the new year, given the House is out until then. Bill, Dana. Okay. All right, David. Thanks, David Spunt. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.